Hey, welcome back to Christians United Broadcasting Network. This is Watching for Truth Lord. Get to Watching for Truth Lord 1.tk at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or New Babylon Time. I was just watching a video of a gentleman that was speaking about John 16. And it was a wonderful video. Yes, son, come in. Yeah, you're the same. But he was talking about not believing in Jesus is sin. Now I agree, there's no common love. Well, let me expound on that. If you believe in Jesus, now, he knows. If not, it's not going to make any sense. We're going to read further into the text. John 17. Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that the Son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh. Does it say some flesh or over all flesh? It says that he should give eternal life as to many as thou hast given him. He gave them, and this is life eternal, that they might know that, that the only one true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Remember, Emmanuel, God with us. I had glorified thee on earth. I had finished the work. For Jesus Christ in his flesh is finished. By the Spirit, then, I finished the work which thou hast gave me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So he's saying, before the world was in the beginning, he was with the Father. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. What? He's saying that the Father gave him men out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. The word is God, thou one, all things, the word. John 17, 7, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given them unto the word which thou hast given me. And they have received them, and have known surely that I come out from thee. And they believe that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Did you hear that? Jesus ain't praying for the whole world, people. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. He's saying they, those are mine. He's talking about us, those that love me. And all mine are thine, and they are mine, and I am glorified in them. Christ is glorified in you, and lo, and now I am no more in the world. Jesus is no more in the world than the flesh, right? But these are in the world. Who are these? Hello, if you're hearing me, that's you guys. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name. Those thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. What? He's saying that he wants us to be one with the Father as Jesus is. John 17 and 11. John 17 and 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in my name. Thou thou hast given me, I have kept, and that none of them is lost. But the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Now when Christ went on the cross, no one died. Now Judas Iscariot, the son of perdition, that's where he was talking about, had to be fulfilled. That's been fulfilled. And now, now I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have joy in themselves. So these words were supposed to have joy. And I have given them thy word, and the world hated them, because they are not of the world, even as 
I am not of the world. And guess what, guys? I'm not of the world either. Are you? I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou should keep them from the evil. If Jesus isn't saying he wants to come take us away out of here, but he's saying to keep us from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through, you know, sanctify through thy truth. The word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them into the world. That power, that's Christ saying he sent you into the world. And for their sake, so for your sake, our sake, I sanctify myself, says Jesus, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also that share, shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thy Father art in me, and I in me. Uh, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe thou sent me, and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I and them, and thou and me, they that may be perfect in them. That word perfect also means mature, to be perfect in one, and that world, the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved me, and thou hast loved me. Father, I will they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for, that, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Okay, I'm going to stop there now. The word of love starts before the foundation of the world. So if we love him and we're all one in Christ. Even Galatians 3 28 says there's neither Jew, Jew nor Greek, nor Don, nor Free, nor Male, nor female, but we are all one in Christ Jesus. It's encouraging that. I mean, the Creator lives inside you. All you gotta do is ask, speak, not, and believe on him. Thanks for the inspiration, bud. And I'll try to name it accordingly. But I know all, all glory to Christ. Peace.